What we're going to do in this video is get some practice subtracting multi-digit numbers. I'm going to use 1,000 minus 528 as our example. But it's really to understand different methods and how they all fit together and why it actually makes sense. So if you wanted to visualize what this difference means, imagine something that is, has a length of 1,000, some type of units. So its length right over here is 1,000. And we were to take away 528 from that. So 528 from that is what we take away. And so this difference would be, well, what do we have left over? So this is equal to question mark. And I'm going to do it two different ways. I'm going to do it using a table with place value. And I'm also going to do it using what's sometimes called the standard method. It's the way that uh, people often learn to subtract numbers like this, especially if we're going to have to do some regrouping. So I'm actually going to do them simultaneously for your benefit. All right. So let me just write out our table with our place values. So first of all, you have your thousands place. Thousands. And let me square off the numbers here that are in the thousands place. So that's, I have 1,000 right over there. That's one in the thousands place. Then you have your hundreds place. Hundreds place. In this number, I have zero hundreds right now. Here I have five hundreds. And then you have your tens place. Tens. Zero tens right there in the, in the tens place. Two tens right over there. And then, of course, you have your ones place. Ones. Here I have zero ones. Here I have eight ones. Now let me also rewrite these numbers, and I'm going to do it using the standard method. So I have 1,000, and then I have zero hundreds. I have zero tens, and I have zero ones. And from that, I am going to subtract five hundreds, five hundreds, two tens, two tens, and eight ones, and eight ones. So let's do both of these at the same time. And let me make up, make a little bit of a table right over here. So that is my table. So let's start with what we originally have. We have 1,000, that's what we're subtracting from. Well, on this table, I would just represent as that is 1,000. Now we want to take five hundreds and two tens and eight ones from it. How do we do that? Because right now we have no hundreds, we have no tens, and we have no ones. And with the standard method, we have the same problem because we start in the ones place and we say, hey, we want to take eight ones from zero ones. Similar problem here. How do we take eight ones here? Similarly, we want to take two tens from zero tens. How do we do that here? And the answer is regrouping. What we want to do is break up this thousand and so that we can start to fill in these other categories. It's like exchanging money. Is, that's sometimes an example used. So a 1,000 is how many hundreds? Well, if we get rid of this thousands, I can break it up into 10 hundreds. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And so that's equivalent of, I could get rid of this 1,000 or this one in the thousands place and give myself 10 hundreds. Well, that starts to solve my problem because I could now take five hundreds from this. I could take five from ten, five hundreds from ten hundreds, but I still have the problem in the tens and the ones place. And so what I could do is I could break up one of these hundreds and into ten tens. So let me do that. So I'm going to take, let me do that in a color. So I'm going to take that one away, and then that one hundred is ten tens. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And if I did that here, well, if I take away one of the hundreds, I'm now going to have nine hundreds left. Nine hundreds left. But now I have ten. Now I have, now I have ten tens. So I'm in good shape. Now I can take some tens here, but I still don't have any ones. Remember, I want to take eight ones from here. So you can imagine what's going on. I could take one of my tens. And that's going to give me 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 ones. And so over here, I could take away one of my tens. So I'm now going to have nine tens. And the, I'm, that's going to, I'm going to break that into 10 ones. 10 ones. And so now things are pretty straightforward. What do I do? Well, I can now take my eight ones from the 10 ones. So 10 minus 8, that is going to be 2. How would I represent that over here? 
I'm going to do the subtraction in this yellow color. Well, I want to take away eight of these ones. So I take away one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I am left with that two right over there. That two is that two. Now I can move on to the tens place. If I have nine tens and I take away two tens, I'm going to be left with seven. I'm going to be left with seven tens. How would we see it over here? Well, I have nine tens left over. I'm going to take away two of them. So take a one, two, and I am left with seven. Is that seven? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. That is seven tens right over there. We have two ones, seven tens. And so this seven is exactly this seven right over there. We do the same, same colors. I think you see where this is going. And the whole idea is not just to get the answer, but to understand how we got this answer. So in the hundreds place, if I have nine hundreds and I take away five hundreds, then I'm going to be left with four hundreds. Same idea over here. I have nine hundreds, I take away one, two, three, four, five. I am going to be left with four hundreds. This four and this four is the same. And so there you get the general idea. With the standard method, it sometimes seems like magic of how we're regrouping things. But all we're doing is we're taking that thousand and saying, hey, that's ten hundreds. And then we take one of those hundreds and we say, hey, that's ten tens. And then we take one of those tens and we say, that's ten ones. And then we are able to subtract.